In the educational system, excellence is represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the students who strive for knowledge and the teachers who educate them. This is one such story. We have some information on a teacher at Monta Vista High School who's been integrating some revolutionary ideas into her teaching. So what do you think we should do, Chief? You go hunt down some evidence, I'm going to go interview some witnesses and get back to me on that. She's using To Kill a Mockingbird to teach about social justice and racial diversity. Check this video out I found. And he's willing to stand up against this dog which has Makeham's usual disease, which is what? Racism. Alright, I think we should send out a few more officers to uh, check in on the case. She does not just teach the students, she is imparting knowledge, she is bringing the character in the student. She's telling them how to behave when they grow up. Now, for our records, can you describe Miss Gillis's teaching in just three words? Yes, unconventional, imaginative, thorough. Apparently, she's been helping the speech and debate team win numerous prestigious awards. They have 28 state championships and six national championships. She likes to give back to the community. Kimberly is one of those educators who saw in the union a vehicle for really getting out into the community and engaging parents and, en and engaging community members. So we had a, a great author here last fall, a guy named Steve Kluger, and we had him here on a Saturday, Labor Day weekend, right after school started, and we ended up with a hundred and some people here on a holiday weekend, and we got lots of great feedback from both kids and parents about both the book and the event. <laughs> Ms. Gillis, you do realize you've been charged with excellent teaching and this is a very serious situation. Do I need representation? No, 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 there's no need for that right now, but why do you strive to be such an excellent teacher? I believe public education is the most profoundly democratic institution in this nation. This is the place where we come together to learn and to learn how to be together. And I don't know that democracy is going to survive without that. 